I'm Glenn Farquhar from Art Vision Studio and Gallery in Sydney, Australia. I'd like to welcome you to my studio. I'd also like to thank Graham Stevenson from Put Some Colour in Your Life for asking me to create a short video just showing you one of the art styles that I create in my studio. The art style I'm going to show you today is the one you see behind. That is spiral spin art. Now spin art has been around for many, many years and artists all over the world have been creating them. The spiral effect is created by using spin art and a pendulum effect. There's a lot of artists out there who create this style around the world, but not many who show you how it's done and demonstrate it. Unfortunately in this video, seeing I've only got a short video I can create, I'm not able to show you in step-by-step -step form how to create the artwork, but you'll get a very, very good idea on how I do. The people who follow me and know what I do create in the form of art lessons, they'll know that I have 23 different art styles in step-by-step -step format online available for you to see. Now with this spin art, it's one of those artworks that's very unique. No two artworks are ever the same, and no matter how hard you try, you can't recreate the same artwork. Each artwork is basically an experiment. And that goes for a lot of abstract art. A lot of abstract art are all experimental, and you're not sure what you're gonna have at the end until you've finished. Now with our spin art, we can create an artwork, and when it's finished, you think, look, that's not that good. So don't worry. All we do is let it dry and then we paint over the top of it with a new background and that background might be black, white or whatever colour you like and you create a new artwork. But what you're left with when you paint over the old one is you'll have a fine detail underneath of the original artwork you did. So it's like an impression which actually adds to the artwork, gives it a different effect. And over the years, I've created artworks where I might have done three or four and not been happy with them and just keep painting over it. And then when it's finished, the final one comes up really nicely, but I've also got this amazing effect underneath, which is a subtle effect where you can see the outline of the paint underneath in the background in the spirals, and then you've got your nice colourful spiral over the top creates an amazing effect and a great looking artwork. And as I teach in all of my lessons, um, I try to encourage people to experiment. And please don't worry if something doesn't work. Experimenting is a way of learning. And every time we say, create an artwork that we're not happy with, well then, we look at that and say, well, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that, next time I'll do something else. But never worry about that, because with abstract, you can paint over the top. When it's dry, paint over the top, start again. So try not to have a fear of failure, because failure is one of those things that help you learn. And I know in this day and age, paints can be expensive to buy, materials are expensive to buy, so that's why I say to people, just because it doesn't work out doesn't mean you've ruined and wasted all your materials. You can still use your canvas by painting over the top and starting again. And it's the cost of the paint is all there is. But if you put the cost of the paint down as an art lesson and you're learning something each time, well then it's not a waste. And that's how everybody learns. That's how I've learned. Um, I've got to where I am today by experimenting, getting something that didn't work, failed in that one, let's try again. So please don't get discouraged if the first one or the second one you do, don't come out how you like it, but you'll be surprised what you can create by just trying. So today I'm going to create a couple of artworks for you in the spin effect. As I said, I'm not going to be able to do full detail, but you'll get a good idea on how it works. Now to create one of these artworks, you've obviously got to have a spin turntable. 
Now, there's all different ways we can create turntables. You'll see the one that I have here. But you can do some very simple forms of a turntable to make it work for you. Now, if something got by creating a turntable is a bit too hard, well then, it might be an artwork that you can't create. But I hope you enjoy watching this short video and you get something out of it and just enjoy watching the artwork come together. So let's get started. We'll create an artwork and we'll see what we end up with at the end because I don't know what it's going to be like until I create it. So for me, this is an experiment as well. So let's get started. Okay, now let's get started. Now as you can see, this is the spin machine that I've created and built myself. It's made out of push bike parts. This is the pedal assembly. And then I've connected to the axle assembly on this side. There's a bit of work involved in creating something like this. You know, they're not a simple machine to build. But if you're handy, or you know someone who's handy, you can create your own. I've made it out of timber, you can make it out of metal, there's all different ways you can do it. But as you can see, I can create it so it really gets a lot of speed. Um, for some of the spin art that we do, we need a lot of speed for the machine. But we can also make it work just by using it freehand as well. So there's a lot of diff different options we can do. Uh, unfortunately, in this video, I don't have the time to show you how to build a machine like this and give you more detail. In the step-by-step -step lesson, I can give you a much more detail because I've got the time to try and show you how you can put a machine together. So, we'll get started and create an artwork. I don't know what it'll be, but let's see what happens when we get this finished. Now, all the paints that I use to create these artworks, my spiral artworks, are all acrylic paints, all water-based. Um, you can use any brand of artist acrylic paints you like to create them. You can also use some house paints are fine. Uh, to dilute the paints and to make them more fluid, you can dilute them with water. How we mix all the paints in detail, look, I can't do that here, unfortunately, because we just don't have the time, as I said. But um, I show that in step-by-step -step detail on the lessons on the website. So if you really want to find out exactly how to do it, that's where you go. But here it's purely a demonstration, so I hope you understand. So all just artist acrylic paints is what we're using. Now here we have our paints all mixed, ready to go. So you can do whatever colours you like. I'm going to do a multi-colour. You can just do one or two colours. You don't have to mix anything if you don't want to. If you just like a shape, a spiral shape. So, you know, you can create them in a range of different colours. You'll see all different examples that I'll be showing as we go through here. Here's a different one now that I've shown you that's got a lot of orange tones running through it. We've used oranges and blues, um, magenta, black, and they've mixed together to create a really interesting effect. Um, another one here that I've got is just used mainly oranges, blacks, and um, some reds, and that's given you another interesting look. So it's up to you and up to your imagination what it is that you would like to create as far as colour combinations are concerned. But I'll show you some examples as we go through. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of black down this edge. Don't ever use too much black because black can overtake the whole artwork. And then we're ready to make the magic happen. So we'll see how we go with this one. Here's our experiment. Now the way that just created that is quite stunning. And as you can see, as it continues, we just get a different pattern happen. And it's up to you when you decide to finish. And those paints are going to mix together, they'll react with each other, and you get some really interesting effects. So we'll have a closer look at that artwork once it's dry. Now here's our first artwork we did. And this is about two hours after. And you can see how the paints have all reacted with each other. We've got all this amazing marbling. 
has started to happen and selling. So all of those people who are familiar with selling and marbling. So this has turned out to be a really interesting finish to the artwork. That was some leftover paint from the last one. You can see there's a mix of colour in there. To get this moving, but this time I'm going to make a smaller and different shape. I'm letting it slow down. And we've made more of an elliptical shape this time. We've got a completely different shape and look to our artwork. And this one's a completely different feel altogether to the other one just by having one elliptical shape and a second elliptical shape. And that's all I'm putting on that canvas because the colours just pop straight off the black. So that's another example of what we can do just with the spiral technique. If you'd like to learn how to do a spiral artwork, but you'd like to do it in person, I have one-on-one -on -one art lessons which are available. Just jump online, check out the website, and you'll see where you can book a one-on-one -on -one lesson. And then you can be in the studio with me, I can answer any questions you like, take you through step by step, show you how we use the machine, I can give you any ideas and if you want to make your own machine, you can ask me any questions you like and I'll be able to help you. So feel free, jump online and check out the one-on-one -on -one art lessons. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching those artworks come together. Just a small snapshot of the type of artworks I create in my studio here in Sydney. Um, I create a lot of different art styles. Um, as I said earlier on, I've got 23 different lessons similar to what you've just seen in all different styles, which I do step-by-step -step format. So if you are looking to create some new artworks or some ideas or just techniques, um, that's the type of thing I like to provide for people all around the world to see. Um, you'll see examples on the website of all the different artworks people have created using my uh, lessons and you know, feel free to jump online and check them out. You can download them or they're on DVD. What you've seen today is, as I said, just a small little insight to what I do, but I'd like to really thank Graham Stevenson and the team at Colouring Your Life. What they've done in putting their show together has just opened the world to a lot of artists. Um, they're filming in countries all around the world, uh, artists being exposed to millions of people where they would not have been. And just so you can see all the different techniques and the styles and the creativity of the people from around the world who create art in their homes and in studios, uh, large and small, uh, all different formats. So, Graham, thanks uh, very much for allowing me to be on your show and expose my work to more people around the world. It's been wonderful. So look, I hope that's all been interesting for you and until next time, happy painting.